proteins are classified based on their function composition and solubility nutrition value and shape coming to classification of proteins based on their function as we know that proteins perform various functions like catalytic proteins or enzymes so these catalytic proteins they accelerate thousands of reactions this includes for example glucokinase hexokinase phosphofructokinase amylase like that there are so many enzymes all these enzymes they come under catalytic protein transport proteins proteins involved in the transportation of various molecules for example hemoglobin transports oxygen albumin transports various molecules like uh, calcium it transports drugs and it also involved in the transport of bilirubin transferrin transports iron and copper is transported by ceruloplasmin storage proteins proteins concerned with the storage for example apoferritin stores iron contractile proteins proteins these are involved in muscle contraction like actin and myosin structural proteins these proteins they give strength and protection to the biological structures for example collagen which is present in tendons bones and connective tissues and uh, elastin of ligaments defense proteins are protective proteins so the name itself indicates they are protect the body from microorganisms like virus and bacteria and the examples are immunoglobulins and fibrinogen regulatory proteins or hormones the proteins that regulate cellular or physiological activity for example insulin glucagon growth hormone genetic proteins proteins associated with dna for example histones stress response proteins proteins that help in the organism to survive under stress for example heat shock proteins so these heat shock proteins they are produced in response to uh, stressful conditions like heat shock cold uv light during own healing so these heat shock proteins they act as chaperons so the meaning of chaperons is chaperons are proteins that assist in folding of other proteins coming to second classification based on composition and solubility proteins are classified into three types simple proteins conjugated proteins and derived proteins coming to the first one simple proteins they are named as simple because they contain only amino acids so there is no other chemical group in them so that's why they are simple and they are called as simple proteins and the coming to examples albumin is a simple protein which contains only amino acids there are albumin contains around 585 amino acids and it is soluble in water and coagulated by heat its molecular weight is uh, 69000 there are two types of albumin lactalbumin and ovalbumin excluding the serum albumin globulin another example of the simple protein it is soluble in dilute salt solutions insoluble in water it is heat coagulable right now coming types of globulin there is serum globulin ovoglobulin that is present in the egg yolk and legumes of peas they also contain this globulin prolamines so these are soluble in 70 to 80 percent alcohol these are named prolamines because they are rich in proline protamines these are rich in basic amino acids like arginine and lysine they are soluble in dilute acids and alkalis and you see the commercial preparation of insulin it contains protamine zinc insulinate scleroproteins they form supporting tissues like collagen which is present in the bones cartilage and tendons keratin of hairs and nails coming to second class based on the composition and solubility that is conjugated proteins here name itself indicates that they are bound with some other part so here the proteins which contain amino acids plus the non protein part are called as conjugated proteins so basically conjugated proteins they contain two parts one is protein part 
and the other one is non protein part and that non protein part is also known as prosthetic group examples of the conjugated proteins are nucleoproteins these nucleoproteins they contain simple protein like histone which is bound with dna glycoproteins here the non protein part is carbohydrate the examples are immunoglobulins and mucin of saliva lipoprotein the non protein part is lipid the examples of lipoproteins are chylomicrons ldl vldl hdl so all these they contain protein part and the non protein part so non protein part is called as lipid and the protein part is called as apoprotein chromoproteins these proteins they contain colored group as the non protein part examples are hemoglobin which contains heme so heme is the non protein part and globin is the protein part same way flavoproteins which contain riboflavin as the non protein part and here flavoproteins they have yellow color because of this riboflavin phosphoprotein which contain phosphate group as the non protein part example is casein which is present in the milk ferritin that is uh, it is a combination of iron plus apoferritin that iron becomes the non protein part now coming to third class based on the composition and solubility that is derived proteins these are named because they are degraded products of the native proteins so when a original native protein is degraded whatever products that has formed those are called as derived proteins so simply so we can define these derived proteins as proteins formed by partial hydrolysis of high molecular weight proteins for example so when a protein is partially degraded right, it forms peptones then peptides and finally amino acids so examples for the derived proteins are peptone and gelatin classification of proteins based on shape they are classified into globular proteins and fibrous proteins globular proteins they may have spherical or oval shape and these proteins they are usually soluble examples are albumin and globulins fibrous proteins these are elongated or needle shaped and their solubility is minimum when compared with the globular proteins and the examples of fibrous proteins are collagen elastin keratin coming to the fourth one classification based on nutritional value here the proteins are classified into three categories nutritionally rich are complete proteins partially incomplete proteins and third one is incomplete or poor proteins and the basis for the nutritional classification is it is based on the number of essential amino acids any protein which contains all the essential amino acids they are known as rich proteins or complete proteins for example casein and albumin and the proteins which lack one essential amino acid those are called as partially incomplete proteins for examples when you take the proteins from the pulses they lack the methionine and proteins of the cells they are deficient in lysine coming to third category incomplete proteins are poor proteins so proteins which lack more than one essential amino acid are called as poor proteins or incomplete proteins and the examples are zein of corn 